Um, right, how do I start this? Uh, hi, I'm Archie, and this is the 2023 Hurley Burley, the Downhill World Cup and Championships yearbook. This is the seventh edition of this book now. Um, the first one came out in 2016, and done one every single year apart from 2020. Um, obviously COVID year. So I'm here to give you a talk around the this year's book. Um, as you can see, it's pretty damn cool. It's a bit of a different design this year by the great Chris and Harriet Jones, which is quite cool. We've got Loic and Valley on there, um, and Charlie and a bit of Benoit on the back. Um, and yeah, it's just pretty sick. But anyway, I'll give you a rundown of the stats. Um, so 22 pounds. I don't know what that is in euros. Should probably look at that. 276 luscious, silky smooth pages, and also a silky finish on the cover. Uh, it's 284 by 222 millimeters. So that's not normal. Printed in Wales. So principal photography from Boris Bear, Sven Martin, and Seb Shike. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to give you a talk through of the 2023 Hurley Burley. Start with beautiful John Gregory drawing there. Mr. Proper himself, up there. It's a cool write up from Windmasters about the privateer project. I'm into race one, Valley there, Lenza Ida. The race report was done by George Gore Brown. Pretty sick. Brendog down, giving a little uh, Death Grip 2 teaser. That was a great race. It was a proper test, wasn't it, to see how the first of the new downhill series was going to go. Great shot there of Bernie. In each of the races you get a stats page like this, which is really cool. So it's all from the UCI data and it gives you all the elevation and the average gradient as well as the weather, the distance covered, speeds, all that kind of stuff, which is pretty sick. Great shot there of Cami, hopefully he's on the mend. And all the words there are from Chris Kilmurray. You might know him as Point One Athletic on Instagram. Got some good photos in there. And obviously a uh, return, of, return of the woman herself, Rachel Atherton. Straight back for a win, which is God, it was insane, wasn't it? Yeah, just insane. Great shot there. Jordan Williams. First elite race and first win. Bonkers, that. Yeah, incredible. 18. Makes me think, well, I've done nothing like that. End of each race, we've got points battle from Nick Hamilton, which is cool, a little right up there, as well as all the split times and the points. And there's a lovely interview with Rachel Atherton. And a great write up there from Paul Vines, who you might know as Satellite Coffee Morzine, legend. He helped us out during our Leger pop up um, and was there every morning. And then on to Leo Gang. Amazing shots. Christian Hauser up there. It's a cool one. And this is Lauren Smith, wrote this one. Cool little montage there, everyone. Eric Fedko's nipple, just there. Great shot of Valley flying off into the Leo Gang Valley from Seb there. Sick shot for Niles. Amazing. Great shot from Sun again of uh, Brooke McDonald and the anatomy of the track again from Chris. Yeah, there's too many good photos. So see the more bangers there. Got Jackson and Lowe. And actually, interestingly, Ben pointed out that it's both the same corner, but they're both leaning different legs at different angles. So I don't know what that means. I'm the racer, so I don't know. The moustache, the fastest moustache in all the land, Andy Cole. What a weekend that was. If you were Austrian, you would have had a huge night, wouldn't you? I should probably pick up the pace of it, because there's too much cool stuff to go through. Black Snake. Um, the words from Alan Milway there, to give you a bit of an overview of what went on throughout the race. Great race report. What a year for Marine Cabaru, coming back. She's... Um, Really back on the pace now. It's good to see her back in amongst it. And also Reese Wilson, back for a race up there. That was cool to see. Hopefully he'll be back full time next season. Yeah, another 18 year old winning another World Cup. Yeah, Chris Kilmurray did a cool write up about perspective, with mostly about Tani really. It's good insight. All the write ups provide a really good insight into different, different parts of the sport. And sometimes not even about it, just around it, which is pretty cool. For World Champs, here we go. Smooth sailing in Scotland. So Eddie looking very concerned there. And some great words from Pete Scullion. Great shot there looking down the blocks in Scotland from Sven. 
Ryan, Troy, and Brooke up there in the All Black. Bali was unstoppable this season, as you well know. Back to back world champ. Another sideways shot at Bernard Kerr there. And yeah, Charlie Hatton. Incredible. Well deserved. Amazing. And over into Andorra, again, more words from the brilliant Chris Kilmurray. Bring Brayton back up there. Common style home country. Yeah, stunning spot, isn't that? Yeah. Ryan Pinkerton, again, another guy with who's had an incredible season. Nina, great shot there from Seb. Dibardo. Ludenviel, or Viel, Ludenviel, I think I got that right. Um, some words by Anna Buick, she's a great writer and there's some great insight in this one. It's the only time that Jackson and Laurie were on the podium together, which is pretty cool. The Santa Cruz Syndicate twins. And quite, to be honest, it's quite lucky that they've got the names on the uh, legs at the minute, because you couldn't really tell the difference. Right, Nina shot there. It's a hell of a track, that Ludenville track. Look really good. And then, yeah, obviously the um, controversy surrounding the juniors being cancelled. Lots of opinions. Don't know if any of them are right. Don't know if any of them are wrong. Mm. Yeah, Remy Tyrion. There we go. Great shot there from Boris. Looking straight down into the valley. Frenchman on home soil. Fifth place on the podium. Lisa Bowman there. Another rider who had sort of a breakout performance at Ludenbier. Really cool. Hopefully see a bit more of her next year. Aaron Gwynn up there doing some commentary. Good to have him up there next year. Leger, what a race. First World Cup I've ever been to, and Jesus, it was mental. Never seen an atmosphere like that in anything. Utterly ridiculous. I had a flare go off in my face. That was quite funny. I had a big burn up on the side of my face. Words from Dan Roberts. Great insight there. Great shot there. Mike Resnick, man. Great shot. Lovely bit of design there. Did get dusty. Some riders had started using mud spikes because they had to penetrate through the dust just to get to some sort of grip. Another great performance from Marine Cavalry. It's just nice to see her back on top, really. Enjoying herself at the end there. Don't know what's in that cup. Benoit, obviously. Long time coming. Well deserved. Great shot there. Uh, some more words for Snowshoe from Anna Buick. Dakota Norton. Great shot. The amazing crowds that were at Snowshoe. Sunlight anywhere else. The Union all dressed up there, nice kit. And of course, the lucky Irishman. Need to get a pair of those socks, I don't know if you can see those. Beers. The moment of madness, we realised. It's a funny photo. He doesn't look that stoked, but realistically his mind is just completely blown. He doesn't know how to feel. I think. Incredible race. What a way to end the season. And there was all that dubiousness. That's not a word. All that worry that it was going to be covered in snow. And it just turned into the most beautiful track ever. Those colours of those leaves were unbelievable. For the race report, words from Zach Faulkner. That was a big crash. Straight through the netting. And everyone's favourite rider. Kate Edwards. Flat ass. Ethan Craig, what a ride that was. Insane. Thought he was going to win it. And then Jackson just came down and... What a man. Anyway, there's the round by round points. So that gives you an idea of what was going on. Obviously, Lowick won, Valley Hull, Ryan Pinkerton and Valentina Rosa Sanchez uh, taking the junior wins. Nick Hamilton gives a round up there of the entire points battle throughout the year, which is pretty cool. Here's the overall, the top 10 overall points battle of 2023. In a bit more of a sort of visual format. Which is nice from John Gregory there. A brilliant shot there. There's 2023 Hurley Burley. Quick look through. I oh, know it wasn't that quick, sorry. It's just too much cool stuff in there. Thank you to everyone that turned up to our Leger pop up. It was great to meet so many of you and get to chat just about pretty much anything, be it bike related, be it whatever. It's been an incredible season and uh, can't wait for it to get started again next season. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. It's just. So these are available on the site now. You can buy them in a bundle, you can buy them on their own, you can buy them with a print, you can buy them with the world stage, or you can buy them with a t-shirt, whatever you want to do. You can build your own bundle, but make sure you order them quick because then we can guarantee that they'll get to you for Christmas or for whoever you want to give them to for Christmas. So yeah, they're a good, good present. Not quite a stocking filler, but I'm sure if you, I don't know, Probably, probably would go, I reckon. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Another K 
good shot. I should probably stop talking now. But thank you again to everyone who continues to support us. Without your help, we wouldn't be able to make these things. And we love making them, so we'd like to keep doing it. Thank you to all the amazing team that helped make this possible. Best hurly burly they've put together yet. I got tasked with doing this, and I said that if I didn't hate myself at the end of recording it, then I would send it to the boss men. And if I did hate myself, then I wouldn't send it. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, hurly burly 2023. Go get them.